What's going on everyone and welcome back to another episode of Today in Ace Combat. Today is October 25th and back in 2004, Ace Combat 5 The Unsung War was released in North America. Where do I even begin? One of, if not the best, Ace Combat game made by far. It's packed with 28 emotional tearing missions that attaches you to all the characters, builds a team from the ground up, and even has some amazing lore. This game is the fifth installment in Ace Combat, exclusively on the PlayStation 2. And you all know how this game started off. If you guys haven't already, go watch my other video on Ace Combat 5 Start to the Circum Pacific War. And if you haven't played this game yet, you are seriously missing out on one of the most influential, groundbreaking experiences of an Ace Combat game. Go check it out. This game was released as a pre-order bonus with Ace Combat 7, but unfortunately, I was not able to get one due to some really sad financial stuff. Whatever. Also, in other news, in 2011, Ace Combat Assault Horizon Plane DLC Pack 2 was released in North America one day earlier than Europe and Japan. I just gotta ask, why do companies do this? This included the FA-18F Red Devil skin, the F-14 Halloween Pumpkin skin, and the ASFX Shinden 2 plane. Looking at the Red Devil skin release, it matches up almost exactly to the official Red Devil's emblem, but I notice a slight difference while comparing it to both Infinity and Ace Combat 7. In Infinity, it's basically just reused the same skin, so nothing new here. But looking at Ace Combat 7 on the tail end of the plane, the lettering is different. In Assault Horizon, the letters are W slash T, whereas in Ace Combat 7, the letters are N slash H. The Red Devil's official tail code is WT, but there was a time when they were developed under Carrier Air Wing 11, and all aircraft under CVW 11 display their CVW's tail code NH. This is something I actually struggle struggled with understanding beforehand, but shout out to Galt6 Gawain in the Reddit Ace Combat Discord server. You can go ahead and roast me if I fucked up your name. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Next up, the F-14D Halloween Pumpkin skin was released for $3.99 USD in Assault Horizon, but it was actually free on the Steam version. This was listed as color number seven, and taking a closer look at the skin, the left wing says shoot or treat, while the right wing says happy Halloween. I mean, who doesn't love spooky season man the side of the engines beneath the wings and elevators say immortal unlike ace combat 6 this game did not give the tomcat any weapon count or ability boost but the player was able to hide from enemy aircraft on the radar from enemies that aren't facing the player this isn't something super special as the f-22 and the t-50 pack fa also have this feature nonetheless it's a badass skin and i personally love the gritty scary look that project aces gave it compared to Ace Combat 6. It definitely classifies as an official spooky skin, that's no doubt. Next up, the ASFX Shinden 2 is a Japanese developed aircraft used to protect Japan's airspace from enemy activity. This is a next gen aircraft, and inside Assault Horizons universe, this is a prototype plane known as the F3 Shinden 2. It's way faster and lighter compared to the other variants. The reason for its development came about due to the 9 11 attacks and the 2002 Japan unauthorized incursion incident. The details of this incident include that two random planes entered Japanese territory, avoiding U.S. and self-defense force radars. They created sonic booms, created a bunch of panic among the cities, and combined with the 9-11 attacks, Japan needed some better tech and weapons to protect themselves. It's really horrifying that two planes were easily able to just bypass any radar systems, and you know, they gotta have some kind of weaponry out there to protect their city. This plane was inspired by Shoji Kawamori, aka the creator of Macross. Alrighty everyone, that's going to be it for today's episode of Today in Ace Combat. I want to know in the comment section below, what's your favorite mission for Ace Combat 5? And also, what is your favorite part of this Assault Horizon DLC pack number 2? So personally, my favorite moment for Ace Combat 5 is when Nagase just goes complete badass on Yuto Banians and becomes a prisoner of war, but yet she somehow kind of takes over. She's so awesome, man. Like, she's not going to let herself die like that. I think she's an amazing character and you know, I'll leave it at that. And as far as my favorite part of this DLC pack number two, I definitely got to say it's the ASFX Shinden 2. What can you say, man? It's coming for Ace Combat 7 soon. It's so unique. It's so different. It's definitely futuristic.
classic looking and it looks so slick. I really like that they took inspiration from Kawamori from Macross. And this is definitely one of the more unique planes, I think, out of all the fictionals. If you guys haven't already, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and join the Discord. The links are in the description down below. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. What are you waiting for? That's it for today's video. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I love you guys so much. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. And of course, as always, I will see you all in solitary.